Carnelian, I'm a chameleon, perceiving frequently, I am a medium. Okay, so first you're going to use the P. Louise Primer Base in Rumor Zero. This is the lightest one that they have. I also have um, two others, but because I want this look to be really bright and vibrant, I'm going to go with, oops, I'm dropping stuff as always. Um, I'm going to go with the Rumor Zero, but I have the Rumor One, and I also have the Rumor Three. So now I'm going to apply this base to both eyes, and I'm going to ap apply it with a foundation brush, I mean a concealer brush, but I'm going to pat it down with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And don't mind my voice, it's like early in the morning, one of my homegirls says that she sounds like Megatron when she wakes up, and now I kind of understand, <laughs> okay? So now I'm just going to go in, I'm going to put the music on, and apply this base. So now that you have your base set up the way that you want to, this is exactly how I want it for this look. Um, don't mind the bottom because I want to, you know, clean that up later and fill it in. But now we're going to go in with the Nubian, I like this so bright, the Nubian 3 Coral from Juvia's Place. And I'll be taking this color right here. Okay, so I have that to the desired color and thickness, maybe one is a little bit darker, but I can go and tweak that. But now, well actually I don't really have to tweak it honestly because I'm going to go out with a brighter color on top. I am taking the Saharan by Jovia's Place and I will be going in with Sokoto, which is this baby right here. I'm taking a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend that in to the color that was already put down. Now that I have that to where I want it to be, I'm going to now take Jamella, which is this color right here. And I'm going to take a crease brush and put that on to my crease, my outer corner, and a little further in. So now that I have this the way that I want it, I'm going to go back in with that first color, the Sokoto, and I'm just going to brighten this up. So now I'm going to go in with this color Casita here at the bottom. Sounds so stuffed up. Ugh. I'm just going to blend the top here so that my lines aren't so harsh. So now I'm going to take the rest of the product that I have on my hand, the rest of the Ruba Zero. And this is a good old paintbrush that I have that I like using to cut my crease. Now granted, I could cut everybody else's crease. But cutting my crease is always a chore. Like always, honey. I can barely ever do it. It's the worst. But today it looks like the crease cuts might be my friend because <laughs> I did this look yesterday and I hated how the edit came out I was all over the place mercury retrograde has had has got me screwed the hell up <laughs> screwed so um once you get your crease down 
Take that same brush that you used earlier to pat down your initial base. Something I do to kind of clean it up if I feel like I messed it up. Just take a brush with a little bit of color and go back around it. I'm trying to get this done before my kids wake up. So now I'm just taking that same brush and just using it to pull the color to just blend it out. Okay, so I'm going back in with the Nubian 3 Coral and I'm going to be using this color to blend out into my Saharan. I'm going to be using this color named Chad here at the bottom. It's a black. This is pretty deep. Pretty damn deep. So I'm just going to pat that into my crease. And now here I'm just going to go back in and fill that out, blend that out. Then I'm going to go back in with the orange gingermella. And I'm going to repeat the steps. Probably with the Sokoto as well. So now I'm going back in with the Saharan and I'm going to be going with Waterby, this gold color. I'm going to say Waterby and if I'm pronouncing it wrong, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna take. I'm looking for the small brush. I need a rather small, and I'm gonna blend it into the orange. So now I'm gonna go in between the orange and the gold using the two brushes that I used. I'm just going to basically blend them together. I'm also going to use the brush that I used for the black if I can find it. Because when doing makeup, you put a brush down and you lose everything. But I found it though. Just got to look. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. So now I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Gel Liner, and this is the black. I'm going to use the angle brush that they gave. I'm just going to use the angle part on my outer corner. So I want a pretty thick line. And then once I get that line down, which it looks terrible, I will fix. But I don't want it to dry. I want it to take the black and really get into that corner and deepen it out. So I'm just taking that same brush I used earlier to do the black. And I'm going to dark in the outer corner. same brush that I used to put the, I believe it's called Sokoto from the Saharan. Yes. I'm going to really just take the brush with the, the leftover color. I'm just going to blend that black out. Okay, 
so I took some of that Roma Zero and I'm just gonna go back in with the Waterby. I'm gonna put that right in my inner corner. Just in the inner corner. Then I'm gonna go in with the Tribe by Juvia's. And I'm gonna be using Masai and oh my gosh, I'm so terrible at this. I'm gonna be using the two greens here. So I'm gonna lay down the lighter green first. I don't know why I can't do this without my mouth closed. Let me try. spray and the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Matte Foundation in Casablanca 450. So I'm going to go back in with the Casina. Okay, so now I'm going to get myself from looking a little casket ready. Because this foundation is a little light for me, but I do like it once I build up my contour. It's freaking amazing. And it's so matte. And it stays forever but <laughs> I'm gonna be going in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in 17 and the shade stick take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into my contour. Okay, so now I'm baking my highlighted areas and I want to go back in with that deeper green color just to Make sure that it really pops. So now I'm going to go in with the Mi Kiwi Lashes. I cannot remember off the top of my head what the number is. But I will put it in the description box. Definitely. I love these lashes. Love these lashes. Love. They look so magnified in here. They're not even this big at all. <laughs> not even this big at all. And I love them. Uh, yeah, I went and um, darkened my, okay, apparently they don't love me, they didn't want me to get into them. I darkened my contour too while I was on a little break. Wanted to look more sun-kissed. But these are the lashes. I'm going to pop those on and I will be right back. Alright, so now my lashes are on and I'm going to be going in with the Festival Liquid Lip by Juvia's. It's a matte lipstick set. And I'm going to be going in with this orange color, which is called Soil. And for some reason with my nails, I can never get this out. I'll be back. I'm 
Bible stay mat. Myself a good misting, good spraying. I'm just gonna fan this baby out. And she is finished. <laughs> I'm finished. We just gotta take my hair down and I'll be back. And this is the finished look. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for disliking. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> I am tired. I have been up for a while. Well, since like four, I took my time and did this today. It is now 5.59 a.m. Um, just gonna walk around, snatched and beat up all day long. <laughs> oh my God, but I love this look. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and commenting and liking and disliking my, my favorite little YouTube mantra, you know. <laughs> but, um, thank you. I humbly thank you. I hope you come back and watch the next one and the next one and the one after that and the one after that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao for now. Get glam or get lost, honey.